This is the RV Thomas G. Thompson. It's one of UW's oceanography research vessels and it's undergoing its midlife refit. The day we got a chance to climb aboard and see the changes firsthand. Some of these things are just preventative maintenance. You know, they have a, a power plant refit and that sort of thing before things start failing regularly. You know, like Doug Russell said, it's get to the point, it's almost like an old car when you just got to put a lot of money in just to keep it going. Um, and so that's one of the main reasons for the refit, you know, to change out the power plant. But, you know, we've had uh, very good experiences in the Thompson in terms of it being operable and able to do the work that we would like to do. Well, I think uh, really for me, it's we're redoing the entire pilot house where all the navigation is done. Uh, you know, most of the equipment that we had up there was, you know, from the 90s. Uh, so we're switching more to a, a lot more digital components. Uh, I think we're just really updating uh, the amount of technology that has come out in the maritime industry, you know, within the last 15 years. You know, getting that on board and making sure all that's functional. You know, we, when we go out on these shorter cruises, it's assumed, like, everybody on shore assumes that you're going to keep doing your work in terms of managing projects and answering emails and, and doing that sort of thing. Um, and so right now, we can only get email on certain headings. <laughs> you know, I get, so they're going to fix that. So um, there's certain headings, especially when I think we're coming in the Strait of Juan de Fuca. Maybe it's going out. Um, you don't have any communications by email from the ship. And so they're going to fix that. So I'm really looking forward. I mean, the Thompson, I've been on a lot of different ships in the fleet, and they all have their uniqueness, but the Thompson is definitely my favorite. Um, just, you know, partially she's my home ship, but also um, it's just laid out really well. And um, and as I said, the crew's always so, so nice and so helpful. Um, so getting an upgrade to something you already really like is, is exciting. <laughs> And it's great is the Thompson can hold 35 scientists in addition to the crew, so um, we get a lot of involvement, uh, going a lot of people um, to participate in the work that you're doing, and so it's been really a great platform for that, as well as just it's one of the best crews around. Um, and I can provide lots and lots of examples, but the crew is, they are not only uh, experienced, um, but they are just so willing to help out with the work all the time. They're just so uh, positive and upbeat. Yeah, it's a, it's a wonderful home away from home, and it's an environment. I think what's so weird is that the, the oceans are two-thirds of the planet, right? But yet, so few people have ever experienced being out on a ship where you can't see any land. And, and it's the biggest feature on our planet, yet we can't just walk into it and study it. And so if it wasn't for ships, we really wouldn't know very much about the oceans. And so being able to have such a, a capable um, resource as the Thompson is just super valuable. And, and also there's just a lot of good energy on that ship and bringing together people to uh, appreciate the information and the role that the oceans play in our life us to carry out mooring operations off the Washington coast and we, we have these cruises that are both uh, operational oceanographic cruises. We recover moorings, deploy moorings, collect a bunch of uh, data samples, but we also um, get a lot of participants involved that usually don't go out on these cruises. We get a lot of student involvement, we get people just from the community and uh, we get people from the outer coast high schools, from the, the Indian nations out there. Um, and so we turn these into both operational and kind of educational outreach cruises, and they're they've been a lot of fun. And we have maybe we've been having these one of the, one of these a year almost um, for the past four years or so. You know, in the city, there's so many human structures out there. The ship is the only human structure, and you're just really experiencing the ocean, the atmosphere, the planet. So that's pretty cool.